Hi everyone, so I've just come to share with you um, a couple of journals that I've made. These journals are bare blank journals, um, butterfly themed, ready to do whatever you like in. And they come with a stuffed pouch. Inside the pouches there is um, a selection of tags and ephemera. Um, the journals, uh, these will be for sale on my shop. The journals measure eight and a quarter by four and three quarters. Each journal has one signature, 60 pages front and back. The pouches um, measure, they're, they're exactly the same as well and everything inside them is exactly the same. Um, they are eight and a half by four and a quarter. Um, there is four uh, sections inside stuffed with the ephemera. So um, what have I used? I have used digitals from Artie Mays from my porch prints the old design shop um i can't remember what else <laughs> so the only difference is the they're exactly the same the only difference is these images on the front they're slightly different that's got one rose that's got two roses butterflies are the same memories obviously the music paper is different um that's some vintage music paper They've both got organza ribbon, which is attached at the back of this, and then it's just wrapped around. I've used some William Morris on there as my covers. Love that paper. That's from Artie Mays. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one. I don't need to show you both because, like I said, they're the same apart from the image. Um, <clears throat> do a quick flip of um, the journal. Like I said, they're blank. It's all been coffee dyed inside here. And obviously spine's a little bit stiff because it's just been made. It's just like a book. You know, when you get a book and it's like really tight, this is the same. Okay, so we've got four layers here. Coffee dyed here, the William Morris on the outside and it's all been sealed with um, a matte medium. Obviously I've made my topper. This is from my porch prints the butterfly collage papers i think it is um i got some coffee dyed papers here was trying to do some impressions with the iron drying with the coffee uh coffee paper with some doilies but it just wasn't coming out so the best way that i have found doing that is in the oven or leaving it overnight and letting it dry but i wasn't working with the iron for some reason and i tried it various different ways but i did get some nice patterns but it wasn't like the complete print um of the doily so anyway some more a little bit grungy uh doily some ephemera there, music paper, paper bag, it's the old design shop, some lined paper, and like I said, these are blank journals. Um, that has got a lot of sprayed, a, um, it's a really lilac-y coloured spray, and you can't see it on the coffee dyed paper, but the shimmer on that is amazing. Um, Centre of the signature, like I said, there's 60 pages. It's the other side of um, my porch prints. You can see the little bit of the doily there. Just gives a nice background anyway. Hope I'm in frame. As I get halfway through the video, the other side of the paper bag, uh, music paper, that's a flip. That's a flip. And like I said, the other journal is laid out exactly the same, exactly the same papers identical apart from the coffee markings which i'm not going to get identical um right i'll just set that to one side and then the pouches again i've used um the papers that i used inside them journals i've used to uh, make this pouch this has been made using uh oops loads of people have done these not my idea at all it's a block bottom paper bag and you just open it all out like to the sides and flatten it all and you make the pouch. Um, I believe Roxy Creations has done this. Uh, Gina from Firefly Studio 67, I think it is. And a few other ladies have done it. So like I said, nothing new. Uh, that is just simply held closed with some organza ribbon. I have glued all that on and I have put matte medium over the top as well and 
opens up. I've used book pages to create the pocket. So there's one, two, three, four, and I'll show you what's inside. So in this one, the back one, it doesn't want to come out. Let me see, there we go. We have a collection of journal cards. Like so, you could decorate them up if you wanted to. You will also get 10 tabs, which have been coffee tied, coffee tied, <laughs> it's coffee dyed. And this is from the whale tab, the whale punch tab from Stamping Up, which you can't get anymore. So you get 10 of them, let me put them in. Then you get three butterfly tags and I've backed them all and I've put tabs on them. They're all actually from Artie Mace. And let me try and get that in properly. It's caught on the tabs. Here we go. That, they go in there. Then in this one, you get four. Um, these have been backed onto coffee dyed papers. They're four library cards. Then you have in this one here, We've got some, um, I'll show you these first. Two little specimen cards, they're from RT Mays. And you get a strip of this, in case you wanna decorate stuff in your journal. And I've made <clears throat> four little clusters. <coughs> Excuse me, oops. So we have this one here, it says Cherish, and it's cardstock, book page, stamped this uh use my pink and shears put butterfly on there and it's cheesecloth this one says journal this one says adore this one says forever so you could make little pockets and put them on or add them to tags or something like that and exactly the same in the other one um so it's just doubling up on everything today let me see if i can get that on i hate dying balls so if i can slip it off i shall do that so there we go. Um, two blank journals. Obviously, they'll be listed um, like that's a pack and that'll be a pack. So we'll have two available. And there we go. So that's what I've made. My um, shop link is below. If you have any questions, just ask. And thanks for watching. Bye.